But in the meantime, mm. JD, we're going to we're going to explore the studio. Right. Okay. That's to say, this studio, and also the studio at Access All Aerials. Okay. Um, which is it's a permanent. Well, it's been it's a studio that's going to be there. It was there last week. It's there this week, and it'll be there next week. Mm -hmm. So it's almost permanent, but mm -hmm. it's a bit more mobilizable. And previously, Chris and I have been over there. Yeah. We've reported back to you. Yeah. We've phoned you. Yeah. But, and you've been over there as well. You've visited I've it. Been, I've visited it, yes. But that was when it was in the chalet. No, the no. radio chalet. You, no, mis I, I you visited the, the, the came to one last week. Oh yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. So have you had a good study of what the studio I, is? I had would quick you say? Notes, yes. <laughs> oh right. Okay. So you've got an idea of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I would say it's a more mobile studio than this one. Yes. <laughs> uh, even though it's sort of permanent, it, the, the the kit there is like. Um, mobile. It's like it's laptops like and disco. screens and yeah. like yeah. doing a disco. Yes, yeah, like doing disco. You can so how much how much kit would you take with you on a disco? Well, in my days, it was two turntables. Yes. Amplifier. Yes. Uh, Six hundred singles. <laughs> yes. Um, a flask of coffee. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's important. This, this important one. Yes. And um, the speakers, big. Big chunky speakers and amplifiers. It's, it was a lot yeah, in a lot those of stuff days, to but tell. now you can take your mobile phone out and plug it into any system, and you have a disco. That, that's true. It's very easy now. Yes, you it's don't very, need mass A level easy. for it. No, no. Well, what I wanted to talk to you about and remind the listeners of is this thing about nomads and artisans. Right, you have to explain what they are because every, every now and again we get a new listener yes. and they, they plug in and they say, what the hell are they what, talking about? What are about? they talking about? Yes, well it comes from design mm -hmm. and um, some academics who've written this article about nomads and artisans, how, right. they, how they learn. Right. And they're, they're all design students. Mm-hmm. But some of them are on an architecture course mm -hmm. and some of them are on a digital media course. Mm -hmm. And my impression is that the, the people doing the architecture course are better resourced. Mm -hmm. it may, the course may have been going longer mm -hmm. or architecture's better thought of, I don't know. But the digital media bit maybe hasn't got the, the same level of funding. I don't, I don't know, that's just a guess. And that may have changed. Because mm -hmm. the article came out mm, two or three years ago. Mm -hmm. But they basically say that there's two styles of learning. The artisans, as they call it, who are the architecture students, mm -hmm. they have a studio, they have a permanent resource. Mm -hmm. And so they can make drawings. They have a, a flip chart and a whiteboard and mm -hmm. all th those sorts of things. And they have reference books. Mm -hmm and chairs and a table. Wow. And uh, <laughs> they, they, they definitely have a base. Uh-huh. Whereas, whereas the digital media students, mm -hmm. they have their own... Well, at that time, they had um, laptops, but as you pointed mm. out, they might just have a phone, or a phone mm. would do the same job nowadays, probably, or a tablet or something like that. Mm -hmm. And they wander about. Mm -hmm. They find corridors... Mm -hmm. where they sit in circles blocking the route for people. <laughs> oh, that's just me. I made that up. <laughs> that's, going, um, <laughs> <laughs> that's not in the, in no. the academic article, okay, but that's, good, right. that's just a guess. Oh, right, OK. But you can see they've got a different style. Yes. All right. Now, normally, you stay in this studio as the producer. Yes. And Chris and myself wander off. Yes, you, you go and explore. Yes. So at that point, you are the artisan yep. in the situation. Right. Because you, you understand this studio, this sort of studio. Yes, sort of, yes. Yes, it needs a, <laughs> it needs a lot of understanding. Yeah, a because lot of understanding. It yes. isn't, it a lot isn't, of patience. It's a classic studio from mm. 10 years ago, but bits and pieces of it need... Um, yes. A lot of understanding to keep mm. them working, let's yep. say. And then there's various digital bits which have been added in. Yeah. That also needs a bit of complexity. <laughs> Nursing. <laughs> but essentially, you, you, you understand what this studio is. Yes. Cause, so Yes, because I've worked in old studios. Yes. Yes, many old ones. Yes. 
So at some point, given that the, the, the output is going to DAB, mm. there may be a different studio. What? The ma- well, sorry, sorry, I'm, no, I'm, don't, don't, the, I'm standing back with amazement here. No, this isn't shock. <laughs> well, this is meant to be shocking. Oh, right, it no, is shocking. I'm just, I'm just saying that at some point the studio might change. Yeah. And we've spoken about a, a more mobilisable studio, better integrated with um, modern devices. Yeah. To reach the public. Mm. Um, and p- quite possibly the Access All Aerial Studio is doing that. They're doing that already, yes. That because people can walk into what used to be the... Yeah, we should explain where they are. So mm. the, the Radio Chalet, which is no more, was sort of between Debenhams and Southern Hay. Yeah. Whereas the art gallery that is no more, their mm. building is sort of round the corner from that. Mm. And that's where Access All Aerial Studio is at this time. Mm. But it's quite easy for the public to get in there. Yes, that's the main thing. Yeah. So... Um, I think first of all you should go and have a look mm. and work out what's possible what's the time it's only ten past ten so we've got till twelve o'clock mm-hmm. um, I've got a few tracks that Chris would like me to play well, you, don't, you don't have to go well, quite he's demanding music now yes he's he's, sending he's not list. here and he's not here to no. the show and he's demanding no. music yes but he might oh. he might he might phone in as well oh no yes well, we can't have that well i've got to so so my artist and i you see i'm i normally i'm a nomad i an, <laughs> or a trainee nomad even. well i'm sorry uh, i don't want need to know your problems well <laughs> keep those to yourself. but this is what you're going to become JD. Well, a nomad. You are now a nomad. You've just only got your mobile phone. Um, and you're gonna s- I have a mobile phone. So you're going to set off now. <laughs> and you could phone the studio on that. Or you could go and join the Access All Aerial studio. Well, I'm, I've no idea whether they're there or not. They weren't there yesterday afternoon. Right. But they said they were going to be here most of this week. Right. OK, well, we're going to have a look. Um, and if I come back in two seconds, you know, you, I know you, I know you come back. <laughs> um, yes. And then phone, you can phone me anyway on on, uh, on, mm. on this on this phone, Waves mobile right. phone. Yeah, on your own phone, yeah. Um, mm. But I, so I, I see. I I think the these articles that were done about nomads and artisans mm-hmm. need need updating. Mm -hmm. I think the nomads might have quite a viable way of learning because the conclusion of the article was that it... Where's that come? Oh, hang on. Who's this? (laughs) Hello? It's Mr Norton. Chris is finding in. We don't need to talk to him. Well, we do. We We do. do. Okay, go on then. Chris. I I need some headphones. Hang on. Can you speak to us for a little bit? 